Hey, what's going on guys? Dino Gomez here and in this week's episode of Dynamic 365, we're going to show you how to automate your SEO accounting and how to streamline SEO proposals. All right, this week's episode, it's all about bossing up. We're going to help you look, feel, act and, and operate like a big time SEO agency so that you're able to land bigger SEO contracts, save time and expenses and actually scale your SEO business. All right, so we're going to show you accounting and proposals. It's all coming up in this week's episode of Dynamic 365. All right, guys, so we're over here at my computer and we're going to be dropping massive SEO knowledge bombs on the logistical side of running your SEO business, okay? So what we're talking about first, I want to introduce you to, if you haven't already heard of it, is FreshBooks. Okay, so FreshBooks is an accounting software, an online accounting software that I use that immediately is going to make your SEO business uh, more legitimate and more credible. It's going to save you a lot of time. It's going to allow you to scale. It's going to also make sure you don't get into any trouble uh, down the road okay so what you can do with this accounting software is it's going to automatically generate invoices for you that you're able to send your client okay you can set up reoccurring invoices uh, you can also accept online payment okay so if you don't already have a credit card uh, merchant processor uh, you can go ahead and you can begin accepting credit cards from your clients it also integrates with Xero and PayPal and all the major um, merchant processors uh, but let's go ahead let me show you what this looks like on the inside and why uh, FreshBooks is an absolute must okay so when you're inside FreshBooks this is what essentially what an invoice looks like okay it's it's digital so it's all online so at the start of every month when you're gonna bill your client FreshBooks automatically sends out an invoice to your client they give the invoice a number and and what this invoice essentially does is you can see it says auto paid and the reason it says auto paid is that you absolutely must make it a rule of your business uh, that you are going to uh, hold your cre uh, your clients credit card on file and that you're gonna charge them at the start of every single month okay because the worst thing ever is is having a client pay by check and having having to wait for it in the mail and then it's slow to arrive and then they don't actually send it or it gets lost you spend all this extra time and energy chasing them down for what they owe you and a couple months go by and now they owe you three invoices and they're not willing to pay you back it's a mess I've been there so what you have to do is you have to make it a rule that you're gonna accept their credit card on you're gonna hold their credit card on file and you're gonna auto bill it at the start of every month so when that happens fresh books automatically at the start of every month on the date you specify it's gonna auto bill your client uh, this is what the invoice looks like so you get to upload your logo and make it look uh, real professional I mean look at how sharp this looks all right so you put in the item number to let you know to let your client know what they're being charged for and the amount and what's cool is you scroll down and it shows you everything that's happening so this was this was all automated so on July 1st this invoice was created uh, for this client an automatic email was sent out to the client and and the client was auto billed you can still see this is July 1st at 5 55 a.m. the client was auto billed uh, the merchant account processed it we got a success um, and then about two hours later at 7 19 a.m. the client viewed it so that's what's so cool is that your client gets an automatic email uh, when they click on the email this is what they're gonna see is this invoice um, and so it's all absolutely documented and, and that's really important that it's documented because if you're doing your own accounting and for whatever reason the client has a dispute that they already paid you when they uh, when they didn't uh, there can be some hang-ups because you have no proof and evidence when you use a third-party accounting and invoicing software like FreshBooks uh, there can be new no disputes alright so what's so cool is uh, you know it auto generates invoicing it does your merchant processing for you and literally in a matter of a few clicks you can begin accepting credit cards I think they charge between three and four uh, percent which isn't bad and, and because it's so easy to get set up with them highly recommend it um, I can't necessarily show you guys some of the other tabs but if you go to the home page you'll see exactly how much revenue you receive that month 
how many invoices are outstanding, how many clients you have, you know, who paid, who didn't pay. Uh, it shows you all that information. And so you'll have this whole number of how much revenue you made that month, how many invoices you sent out. Uh, it's really, really useful for accounting and tax purposes because, again, it's all documented. You don't have to use an Excel spreadsheet. So using uh, FreshBooks and an accounting software like this is an absolute must. It's very affordable at, uh, I think it's 25 or $30 a month and, uh, and well worth it because uh, it'll save you time. Uh, and it, like I said, it, it's used by, I think it's like 30,000 entrepreneurs. It's absolutely huge. But the other thing it does is it makes you seem very, very credible because uh, you, know, you can begin to charge more when you, when you look professional and when you are professional. All right, so if you're manually asking for uh, uh, or sending out invoices to your clients and stuff, that doesn't always uh, give off the impression that you're a legitimate established agency. Um, and so uh, sometimes that can take away from the credibility, even if your credibility, even if you're doing awesome work. All right, so FreshBooks, jump on it. It is a must. All right, and that's for accounting. Uh, so that's going to simplify your life massively. Uh, let's go over to this proposal software that I also absolutely love that you must use. It's called Proposify. All right, and basically it's a software that creates proposals for you. They give you templates, okay? So whether you're going to be providing web design services, video production, um, inbound marketing, or uh, uh, SEO marketing, they give you a template to make this very easy. And then you, it, because it's a drag and drop builder, it makes it so you can whip out proposals in about 15 minutes. Again, it's going to make you look much more credible um, and like a big company. It's going to allow you to charge more. All right, so let's take a look at an actual proposal I put together recently uh, for a client. So you can pick out the these awesome templates here so this one's the city background and this is all text that if I was in the editor right now I could just hover over this text and click and and then I can change the title of, of this but you, th you throw your logo in and you can see at the top right it has the price so I'm quoting these guys uh, 4900 and this is what the client actually receives so this is propose if I operates like fresh books you send a proposal to your client via an an email and they open their email and they click a link and they see your proposal online like this and what's so cool about them seeing it online is they can come up here to the top right and they can click accept decline or they can download a PDF version of your proposal uh, but let me just scroll down so you can see how cool this is uh, again this all comes in the templates so they give you this overview and goals and you just write in a cool opening uh, the other thing you should know is that these templates and Proposify, they have dynamic elements. Okay, and I'm not just using that word dynamic because it's an awesome word and because it's all about Dynamic 365. They literally use dynamic elements. So this proposal starts off saying, Dear Jennifer, and the client's name here is, is obviously Jennifer. Now, at the very start of putting together a proposal, you enter in basic information about your client their name, their address, their company name, you know, what it is they're interested in, and so forth. Now, throughout the actual proposal template, uh, these are things like the, the name and their company name are dynamic elements. So what that means is the next time you have to put together a proposal, and you, let's just say you're, the client you're um, pitching this time, his name is Brad, you don't have to go through the uh, entire proposal and switch out the name Brad for Jennifer it's going to automatically input the name Brad everywhere that Jennifer was in this proposal. All right, so literally you will put together these incredible looking proposals in about 15 minutes time. Uh, so as I scroll down, you can see this section is scope of services. I talk about what we're going to do on page optimization and you can even embed videos, which is talk about differentiating yourself from other companies. If you do a little bit of video, your client's going to love you makes you look professional but also because some of their there's so much SEO jargon and people are, um, are worried uh, about uh, what it is you're actually gonna be doing for them if you do a video it makes you seem more trustworthy highly recommend doing that again uh, easy to embed videos from YouTube or Vimeo uh, but yes yeah, so I'll continue to scroll down you can just see how sharp this looks I talk about the local SEO we'll do 
the content marketing we'll do, writing blog posts for them. This section I have uh, screenshots of results of first page rankings we have in different industries. I'll talk about how we're going to do conversion rate optimization for them. Uh, what our reporting looks like, how we measure results, and I even go so far as to talk about how many projected web leads they'll receive each month, and then based on a conversion percentage, how many new customers that will translate to. Uh, again, and then their investment down here, you, you get this sheet where, um, and what's so cool about the pricing section here is you you know you write in your monthly my monthly price and you can line item exactly how much the different services are and you can add in an additional services so if the client wants to add in an additional five SEO keywords it's another thousand uh, dollars pretty awesome looks sharp you know client logos there front and center and um, you know photo of, of, of what you're up to team members if you have them if you don't you don't need that section of course you can still have that section and just have a uh, personal bio and this is what's really awesome is the actual SEO contract. Okay, so beneath this, we have the actual contract. Um, Proposify gives you a kind of a standard contract to protect yourself uh, that you can go ahead and, and use. And what's so key here at the bottom is the digital signature. Okay, so your client can come after they're looking over the proposal and they can literally give a legally binding, it is legally binding, uh, online signature here. And, and that in itself is dramatically going to increase your close rate for proposals because, uh, you know, emailing back and forth a proposal and a contract and your client has to print it out, sign it, scan it, email it back to you. It's, you know, the easier you make it for your client to get started and to sign and to work with you, the more likely they're going to work with you. Again, because this online proposal looks so clean and sharp and you know you may have video in there and you go through everything it's very easy for them to accept it and get started uh you're gonna close more deals from that uh as, especially considering the fact that this is gonna make you look like a baller this is this is a big time agency type of contract okay and you can put this together in 15 minutes after you set up your templates uh so um so proposify guys it's something you also absolutely must have all right uh, so jump on that. What's so great about Proposify? It also, I will show you, it also integrates, if we come down here to the bottom, and let's see if it was down here. Okay, it might not be down here. Um, what's so great about Proposify is that I know for a fact it integrates with FreshBooks. So when you can link the two together, so when your client does sign and accept your proposal, an automatic invoice is going to be generated in FreshBooks for them. Uh, talk about just saving time, making things easy and seamless. Uh, these are two softwares you absolutely must have if you're going to grow, scale your agency, and look and become uh, more professional with your operations. All right, guys, so I just used a bunch of big words because I like to try and sound smart, make myself feel good. Um, but So what I want to say right now is beneath this video, I'm going to have links to both of these softwares. Uh, they are going to be my affiliate links because a dude's got to get paid for putting together these videos. But uh, no, but in all seriousness, if you purchase through my affiliate link, uh, I'll also include a link to my Facebook uh, personal Facebook page. Uh, if you buy through my affiliate link for either of these, each software uh, is between twenty and thirty dollars a month. Uh, if you buy through my affiliate link, uh, Facebook friend request me, send me a private message, and just be like, "Hey, what's up, Dino?" Uh, just bought you know fresh books through your affiliate link uh, let me know that you bought through my affiliate link and then tell me in about two to three sentences what it is that you're, you're having trouble with in your SEO business whether that's getting clients scaling uh, ranking on the first page whatever you're having trouble with let me know uh, so I know I have some topics on uh, what to shoot more videos with and what I'll do if you bought through my affiliate link is I'll invite you to a private Facebook uh, dynamic 365 Facebook page it's a private group uh, basically every single week I'm gonna be dropping off more free videos tips and tricks on how to grow and scale your SEO business it's not gonna be open to the public it's gonna be a great place to interact directly with me and also uh, network with a bunch of other cool SEO dudes and dudettes 
All right, so that's what's up. Let me know if you buy through my affiliate link. Uh, if not, no worries. I hope you guys found this uh, video uh, very useful. Uh, drop me a comment. Let me know what you, what you thought. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time here at Dynamic 365.